Do you know that Canadian immigration ministers agree on a multi-year PNP levels plan? Immigration ministers from across Canada met in New Brunswick to identify how to best achieve the country's immigration goals. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, a 2Z immigration updates. The Forum of Ministers Responsible, FMRI, for Immigration met in St. John, New Brunswick on July 28 to discuss a host of major immigration policy issues. Topics on the agenda included Canada's Immigration Levels Plan, a more agile economic immigration system, regional economic immigration, settlement, and refugees resettlement. The big takeaway is that Canada's immigration ministers agreed to develop a multi-year provincial nominee program PNP, allocation plan. Currently, even though Canada sets its permanent residence targets over a three-year period, PNP allocations are determined on an annual basis. Moving forward, the ministers agreed that PNP allocation targets will also be set on a three-year basis. The ministers agreed to determine the multi-year PNP plan by March 31, 2023. The FMRI is comprised of Canada's federal, provincial, and territorial immigration ministers. They meet each year to discuss immigration issues of national importance. The FMRI is a decision-making body with the goal of supporting a flexible, timely, and effective immigration system for Canada. Canada's Immigration Minister Sean Fraser added in the post-meeting press conference that there is no certainty at the moment on the precise numbers on the increased PNP allocations for each province and territory. The reason, he said, is the federal government needs to have follow-up conversations with provinces and territories to ensure they have the settlement capacity necessary to welcome more newcomers. At present, Canada's PNP targets over a three-year period are contained in the Levels Plan. However, each province and territory's PNP allocation is set on an annual basis. However, the country's immigration ministers have now agreed that by the end of March 2023, the federal minister will inform each province and territory of their PNP allocation over a three-year period. As a province or territory's PNP allocation increases, they need to ensure they have enough staff and the requisite technology in place to process higher PNP volumes within their service standards. The PNP only contributed to about 400 new immigrant arrivals in 1999, but it is now set to welcome over 80,000 new immigrants in 2022 and over 90,000 by 2024. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.